So most people don't even understand that between the right side of the heart and the left side of the heart, there's a big component. And this video breaks it down. It simplifies that concept for all of you people who are getting into respiratory therapy. You need to understand this concept. Let's dive in. Okay, so all you future respiratory therapists, if you just started RT school or if you are about to start RT school, pay attention to this because I'm about to teach you some very basic, simple concepts that you need to understand that will aid you in your understanding of the things you're about to learn as well as put you ahead of the game as you start learning more complicated concepts. Now, here's how it looks. You need to understand that the lungs look something like this. There is one big airway at the beginning and that's called the trachea. You need to understand that. Now the trachea is protected by what we call the epiglottis. The epiglottis is the valve that operates on top of the trachea to prevent things like aspiration, which is when you inhale objects that you shouldn't. For all of you just getting into respiratory therapy, if you've ever said, oh my gosh, that went down the wrong pipe, well, that's what you were saying is I aspirated that substance. This valve is called the epiglottis. This major airway is called the trachea. The trachea then bifurcates. It turns into two different airways. One goes to the right, one goes to the left. This is what we call the right main stem bronchus and the left main stem bronchus. Now this little item right here, where it bifurcates, is called the carina. You need to know that. That's going to be important as you develop and you move through your program, okay? So you have the epiglottis, which protects the beginning of the respiratory tract. Then it bifurcates at the carina into the right main stem bronchus and the left main stem bronchus. Now from there, it, it, it keeps branching off into more and more airways. You get into the um, segmental bronchi, you, you keep breaking down until you get into the uh, segmental bronchioles. And then you get into the respiratory bronchioles. And after the respiratory bronchioles become the element which is the functional, functional unit of the lungs or the pulmonary system, which is called the alveoli. This is all of these little clusters all throughout here of, of, of units where when you breathe in, oxygen comes in, it diffuses into the blood, and CO2 diffuses out of the blood. That's the purpose we breathe. We breathe to bring oxygen in and to get rid of CO2. So oxygen in, CO2 out, okay? Now, where I started this was, was where does the heart come into this? And this is where. You need to understand this concept right here. The heart actually falls in this area right here. But let's just illustrate for a second in a different manner on where the heart and how blood flow actually works, okay? So we have the heart and we have four chambers of the heart. Most of you probably know this. We have the right atrium, the right ventricle, the left atrium, and the left ventricle. Now, what we know is that the left ventricle pushes blood out to systemic circulation. So the left ventricle pushes oxygenated blood out to systemic circulation so that the tissues and the cells can consume oxygen and they produce CO2. And then that deoxygenated blood returns back to the right atrium, excuse me, through the IVC and the SVC. This is the inferior vena cava and the superior vena cava. 
Okay, now once it goes to the right atrium, it passes through a valve. This valve is called the tricuspid valve. Once it passes through the right tricuspid valve, it goes to the right ventricle and it goes to pulmonary circulation. It goes through the pulmonary artery via the pulmonic valve okay once it goes through pulmonary circulation it is now going from the pulmonary artery and through the pulmonary capillaries it returns to the left atrium via the pulmonary vein okay the pulmonary vein has oxygenated blood the pulmonary artery has deoxygenated blood why because the blood that came back from the systemic circulation has already consumed the oxygen. And so you have deoxygenated blood returning to the right atrium, going to the right ventricle through the tri tricuspid valve, and then to the pulmonary artery through the pulmonic valve, through the pulmonary capillary circulation. This is happening throughout all of this, okay? Pulmonary circulation. And then during this time, oxygen is being picked up. That oxygenated blood returns to the left atrium through the pulmonary vein. It is now oxygenated. It goes from the left atrium to the left ventricle. It passes through a valve here called the mitral valve. Now, if you're wondering, like, how do I keep tricuspid and mitral valve separate how do i remember this well just think the r is close to the t and the l is close to the m and then it goes out through the aorta from the once it passes through the mitral valve to the left ventricle out through the aorta which goes through the aortic valve that makes sense right aorta comes through the aortic valve pulmonary artery comes through the pulmonic valve that makes sense and then it goes out to systemic circulation so that the oxygen can be consumed by the tissues. Now the point of all of this is understanding how blood flow flows through the heart and understanding that between the right side and the left side of the heart is pulmonary blood flow. And between the left side and the right side of the heart is systemic blood flow so let me recap for you real quick so it all makes sense blood flow from the body returns via the IVC and the SVC the inferior vena cava and the superior vena cava to the right atrium from the right atrium it passes through the tricuspid valve into the right ventricle the right ventricle then pumps blood through the pulmonic valve into the pulmonary artery where it goes through pulmonary circulation. This is where oxygen is picked up and carbon dioxide is given off. We inhale oxygen, we exhale carbon dioxide. From here, the oxygenated blood returns to the left atrium via the pulmonary vein. From the left atrium, it passes through the mitral valve into the left ventricle to where it will then pass through the aortic valve to the aorta and out for systemic circulation. Systemic circulation is all about tissues and cells picking up and consuming oxygen and giving off CO2. Okay, The deoxygenated blood will then return back to the right atrium via the IVC and the SVC, and this process starts over. If you can understand this organized circle of blood flow, then you are in a good position of being a very successful respiratory therapist and understanding some key concepts that are yet to come. Okay, I'm here to help, guys. Send me your comments. Put your comments below. If you have a question, you want to send me an email, you can find it in the description below. Um, I'm here for you. This journey is going to be fun. It's also going to be long and stressful, but I'm here to help. 
So reach out when needed.